Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Okay, we can use the arrow keys for this. So. Welcome to your new home, Cutter. There's everything you need. This is officially called a ready-made long-term employee habitation something or other. Around here, we just call it your hab. Now, how's about you get yourself some rest? We'll pick up your training in the morning. But sleep tight there, Cutter. Oh, they just kind of skip us to the next section without... No. Hello, Shipbreaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. Wow, so inspirational. Oh boy, uh, emails. Can I read specific ones? No. Good morning, shipwreck. Reminder, minimum payments are due by 10 a.m. Solar Standard Time each day. Failure to pay on time is considered a breach of contract. Thank you for your hard work and cooperation. Rise and shine, Cutter. Hope you feel well rested. Ready to continue your training? Okay, let's have a look at your employee terminal. Now, let's get caught up on career progression and certification. I've sent you a message with an explanation. Go on and give it a read. Kind of like the posters, to be honest. I'm going to go with Live, Laugh, Salvage. Let's go over to the employee terminal. Ooh, I wanted to see out the window. That's actually not a bad view. Six emails. Clear as mud? <laughs> Don't worry. I'm here to walk you through the process. Soon enough, I'm going to introduce you to some of the other shipbreakers. Most of them are willing to help you out, too. All right. Let's start a new ship and pick your first ship to work on. The certification system is our proprietary career progression tool for all of our shipbreakers. It provides each employee with a fulfilling and promising future as part of the Lynx family. Certification ranks range from 1 as the entry point all the way up to rank 30, which is reserved only for our most accomplished employees. It is advised to view the certification tab in your HAB terminal as a guide to gain access to more tools, upgrade ships, and hazard levels. Proving yourself as a loyal and skilled employee will reward you with a fresh new challenge in the work bay. Good luck. Alright. Structure mode is pre-installed on every Optic 3WL cross-spectrum scanner unit in the standard issue Lynx work suit. This mode is a core part of the Shipbreaker Toolkit as it lets you access the structural makeup of a ship, clearly demarcating hull panels, structural beams, and important cut points. Structure mode is the, most, is the default mode when you activate your scanner, unless you approve to using a different mode. Employee Financial Relief Program Everything important and good in this world comes with a price. Each privileged person who joins our family to become a shipbreaker comes with significant costs. Fortunately, Link shoulders the burden of these costs temporarily in order to let you hit the ground running and begin training stress-free. I don't know that debt number is causing me a bunch of stress. This cost sharing is handled through our innovative employee financial relief program. This program covers all essential onboarding costs and fees, including the cost of training and equipment borrowed from Link Salvage. Also included is the fees of the for the EverWork Asset Replacement Program, which enables safe, unlimited career progression and growth through the power of Link's technology. In return, as your skills and expertise grows, all the value that you earn as a shipbreaker will be automatically deducted from the amount you owe to the Financial Relief Program. This ensures that the borrowed amount is paid off as quickly as possible, so you can get on with building yourself a brighter future. Salvage Goals Lynx is proud to introduce the all-new Salvage Goals system to our valued shipbreakers, a key quota. Um, with performance in mind, salvage goals should help shipbreakers in understanding the expected total value expected from a ship. 
Established by our finely tuned salvage assessment algorithms, salvage goals are an incentive that rewards overall progress, yielding additional rewards when reached. These goals might provide many goodies to our valued shipbreakers, highly rewarding those who reach all provided salvage goals without destroying salvage. Lynx encourages employees to aim for salvaging as much material as possible on all possible ships in order to maximize the value of the ships provided. Yeah, that's a quota. Lynx Ship Admir Admin. I actually been reading who these are from. Edu, 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 edu. That's all I've been looking at. Shipyard Admin. Lynx Rail Mail. New ship access. Mackerel Station Hopper and Mackerel Light Cargo. The Klein Co. Mackerel is the most common ship model in the colonies. The light cargo module is used for civilian cargo and can contain a wide variety of objects. The station hopper transport is outfitted with ad terminals. Electrical safety is advised. Our ships are simply the best. Recent safety reports are wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Spares and you safeguarding your career growth. In 2291, when Lynx rolled out the life changing Everwork asset replacement program to their employees, we achieved what other companies have not making work safer and allowing learning and growth without the risk of permanent death. With a noble profession such as shipbreaking, unplanned death is a natural part of the job, and our shipbreakers have bravely faced the often arduous challenges and risks of their important work. However, Link cares about the well being and growth of our family. The introduction of Everwork spares to replace damaged or destroyed bodies allow you to fail safely, ensuring another day in the yard and another shot at improving your skills. For only a minimal fee, sophisticated monitoring systems in your suit will watch out for excessive bodily harm, triggering generation of a spare upon unfortunate workplace mishap. An array of neural recorders in your helmet transfers your presence seamlessly to the new spare. This process is mostly bearable, and recent advancements have had even removed grief-related downtime, effectively eliminating the need for recovery time between transfers. Yeah, that's not good. Getting access to our spares technology is simple. Our onboarding procedure includes the collection of your genetic data safety, safely stored in our secure servers. From the moment you join us, you no longer need to worry about expiring before your time. Death is a fresh start. Presence transfer protocol has a point as a plus or minus point zero zero one margin of error due to solar interference, signal strength, subject state of mind at the moment of transfer, and other factors. Over very long periods of time, this may result in an identity shift, a medically benign process with minimal impact on subject's working ability. That's just saying they go crazy over time. Anyways, that's all that. Let's see what certification is all about. All right, tools. Do 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 do. Okay, Grandmaster. Okay, we have five tokens. What can we spend tokens on? Oh, can't do anything there. This screen shows which ships you have access to. Each morning, you can choose to continue working on the ship you got, or start a fresh one. Go ahead and claim one, and we'll get to work. All right, Slippery Oberon. Last owner is Link Transport, model mackerel. Do, 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 mass. Does the mass change? Ooh. Which one's the lightest? 23, 24, 24, 24, 72, 72. 7 8. So this one might have some valuable cargo in it. Last owner direct ways. You know what? Let's take that one. Because that one weighs the most. She's all yours, Cutter. Your primary goal is to reach rank 3. Now try to remember nanocarbon goes in the processor, aluminum goes in the furnace. Try to salvage the entire ship if you can. We call it using the whole buffalo. You'll hit your certs faster that way and start knocking out that debt of yours. I'll be observing and giving you any help if you need it. Good luck, Cutter. We were out. Hmm. They just definitely kind of drop us in the deep end, don't they? I 
actually. Buff cut grade. All right, do we have to get inside it? Ah, we have to get inside it. Pushes us back. That's a nice touch. Come on, stop moving. I know these ships look intimidating to scrap at first. But trust me, soon enough, you'll be stripping the huge gecko glass raiders like nothing. Got my star salvaging back down our side in a droid scrap of this. <laughs> you know what made me come up here? <laughs> One day. We got a batch of this particular model in. One of them kinds with synthetic skin and everything. We almost never saw people looking ones like that. They're always too expensive to manufacture. Even someone Oops. found a warehouse full of them. Mothballed for, oh, 20 years or so. Since the AI ban took effect. Probably bought the whole lot for pennies, thinking they could turn a tidy profit with the salvage. No word of a lie. These things looked exactly like my stepbrother did. He even had the same slack-jawed expression. <laughs> now, Jed and I weren't exactly pals or nothing, but all the same, I couldn't bring myself to start smashing that dopey face. And that's when I looked into getting on with Lynx. I'll tell you what, it's a sight better to cut up something that doesn't look like a family relation. <laughs> Anyway, I'm running on. I'll clear the channel. Call if there's anything giving you grief up there, Cutter. We were out. Alright, so that's interesting. We have to kick cut in. Oh, is he... And... Now that unit is probably too big for us to move with the uh, grappler, but let's give it a shot anyways. Oh, we can just barely move it. Okay. Stop moving for a minute. And. I'm gonna assume we're in space that's not gonna slow down. I think the furnace might slow them down, but that's not going to. So, what to cut next? We wanna be very careful, Kenny. We don't wanna have this thing drifting apart too much. that removed. So actually if we cut there
Yeah, that didn't get this panel off. There we go. So I think, uh, do we want to go through it? Let's try going through. Let's see if, because we, I think we can push with this. There we go. That's how we do it. Let's find the processor. I think it's over here. Beautiful. Come on, stop. Oh, that panel did stop moving. Which it really shouldn't in space. Where's that other panel we just removed? Oh, there it is. It's down there. Oh, look, that's right down there. Okay, so it's better to keep stay far away from the unit. Let's have a look at the outside, see what else is there. Those look like cutting points on the engines. So, yep, cut point grade one. straight through. I see more cut points. Actually, we should see if we can get this thing off. Uh, actually, it looks like the support structure here. Oh, processor. did not work how I wanted it to. So let's see, we can probably get that panel out through here. Oh, no we can't. Maybe if we, uh, actually. That's what we want right here. I like the music. I wasn't sure about it to begin with, but it's definitely growing on me. Uh, I don't think that actually removed what I wanted it to. Oh, something just popped. I 
actually move that, I don't think. Trying to grab that little thing, not something back here. Uh, how to get that out? Oh, wrong mode. Ah, there we go. So that goes in the processor. Where's the nearest processor? Oh, okay, that works. Now will physics let it bounce in? Oh, there we go. Now out of this big hole we just made in the side, that unit I just cut out near the front, will it come out? Oh yeah, it'll fit through that hole. Whoa! Where can we see our oxygen level? So with that side done, actually we're not done that side. kind of peaceful. Alright. Processing object. Applying credit to account. I wonder if we, if this thing gets small enough we can suddenly start moving this ship with our suit. so much better than using the throw function. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Salvage goal reached. Rewards assigned. Now, what to cut next? Obviously, we, there's these very obvious cut points here we can cut. Let's head into one of these little holes here and start uh, cutting more off the side. Uh, if we can, I'm not seeing others oh, more cut points in here. Now I said I was going to do this very carefully, but I just kind of want to 
see how this thing comes apart. It's very bright. Uh, oh. Oh, we're inside this unit. Uh, that's not good. Oh, there we go. Oh, she's starting to come apart. It's a nice big chunk worth 9,000 units. Too close because that's what that HUD's warning me about. Deposit accepted for processing. All right. Now let's get back inside. There's probably an easier way to go here. Can't do much of those tiny chunks there everywhere. Ah, that's what I want. This little passage right here. Okay, um, oh, there's a little warning light on the tool I should have been paying attention to. Okay, that's good to know. Because we don't want that happening too often. Oh, there's also a little bar down at the bottom right. Should be able to use the grappler. There we go. And success. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transfer. Man, this isn't looking much like a spaceship anymore. Can this chunk come off? Oh yeah, it can! Getting rid of all those support things really helped. Chunk. Valuable object process. Credit awarded. Uh, what's going on? What's going on? Okay. Salvage goal met. Rewards will be paid. For a second there, I thought I was getting sucked into the processor. Oh, 
Oh, the ship is starting to come apart. Alright. Let's start uh, finding homes for all this various chunks here. Well, this tells us, okay, this tells us where everything goes. So, let's grab this chunk here. Oh, that's not the chunk I wanted to grab. At least it tells us where everything's going to go. I might have to cut that chunk up later. Carbon, go in. Uh, I like how it's just a pile of junk now. stuff away. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... Come on, let me out, let me out. I think I'm being sucked in. Come on. Yeah, I mean, you get sucked in. Oh crap, oh crap. Um, yep. Entering rest mode. Your daily performance feedback will be available shortly in the Lynx assessment portal. So, good to know not to get too close. stuff in there. Ah, uh, there's a fine for glass, I assume. So I need to pay more attention to that. We moved all as one chunk. No. So. Processing valuable deposit. Credit transferred. Salvage goal achieved. Reward allocated. So I think that's the first time we actually messed that up. Hmm. 
not exactly what I wanted. from the uh oh, we're starting to lose money. Right, let's try if we can grapple this piece off. Uh, actually no we need to uh Get cert five. All right, how is this thing connected still? It's just connected on the edges here. So I think if I just cut this bit off, this bottom panel will fall away. We grab the grapple. Yeah, that did it. Oh, <laughs> that just kind of fell off on its own. Raw material Credits deposited. Oh, that just sent a whole bunch of stuff flying. There, I thought that was debris flying off, but no, those are spaceships. Now, can I move this chunk? With great difficulty, I can. Material deposited. In you go. There we go. And sticker unlocked mini me. So that's all there. Is there any chunks we missed anywhere? Not that I can see. Oh. Good thing I stopped to look. Raw material accepted. Right, with those pieces going away. I think it's just these little tiny chunks of debris that we can't do anything with. Mm -hmm. 
So, I think we're good to head back to the Hab, and that'll be it for this episode. Next episode, we'll start on a different project. My. Actually, let's see what happens when we get back to the Hab first. So I learned a lesson. I need to examine each piece just to make sure there's nothing that can be removed. You want to return the end shift and return to the hab? Sure. Structure aluminum, uh, nanocarbon panel glass. Those were all destroyed. Not much though. But we paid off to almost two and a half million of our debt. Congratulations, shipbreaker. Your hard work. License upgraded. Your hard work has not been under. You have achieved the prestigious rank of recruit, rank three. The standard issue links space who can be upgraded. Okay. Good morning, cutter nine three four six fifty two. I think that's a good place to end it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.